I am a very extremely impatient individual. So while I'm getting all of this uploaded for the street interviews as I'm dealing with how to get Mac iCloud to sync with my OneDrive, we're going to talk about how Miller Lite literally said, hold my beer while they jumped on to be the next woke beer campaign. Okay, so I only saw a few seconds of this. I decided, you know what, it's only a minute and a half. We're going to make a quick video about this because I'm sure it's got some absolute garbage in it. Let's take a listen. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones doing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. So she's mad, okay. She's mad about women being sexualized. Okay. Look at this Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite- It's time beer made it up to women? ...is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back so that they can turn it into good shit for women brewers. Literally, good shit. How, you ask? Ladies, take it away. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed... Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to say is their overusage of the word shit, but then they're going to they're going to keep believing it out like, oh, guys, look at this really edgy product we have. Look at our edgy campaign stance. And then and then you bleep the word out for TV and commercial use. It's like, bro, if you want to, like, say that and then you can't even actually say the word, it's not edgy at all, dude. This is just it's so fake. And then two, the second thing is you're going to you're mad at you're mad at these beautiful women for being picked to be models for this show like so you actively don't want women to have jobs and in, in, in a in an industry in which they dominate in specifically in marketing campaigns towards men like what where's the stance here feminazi it compost to warms push out beautiful fertilizer that good helps farmers grow quality hops which has been donated to women brewers to make their own really good shit. This is saying the campaign slogan is shit. Good shit, bad shit. <laughs> it's like, dude, you put this in like an algorithm for a toddler to decide on. But there's definitely more shit out there in your attic, in the garage, in your parents' basement. Look at that. The, the, what, you're pixelating the woman's faces? So women who literally made money from these companies by being at the absolute peak of femininity, these women are mad at? So, was, I mean, the only thing I'm taking from this so far is Miller Lite is like, no, no attractive woman can drink this beer, mid women only. And we're going to get this AOC lookalike with curly hair and she's going to scream at you about why it's good for women. And send any shit you got into Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good shit too. Oh. So here's to women, because without us, there would be no beer. Without woman, there would be no beer. We bought back all the bad shit we could find. I'm so glad they're buying Bud Light. Let me tell you to you like this. There's no amount of putting up fake woman actors who are pretending to do real work that makes me believe that there is a single Miller Lite brewery that operates with only women. And that if there wasn't women at that workplace, it wouldn't be possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are women who work at the Miller Lite workplace and help, but to act as if the entire industry wouldn't exist without them is quite literally just sexist. You're saying that, that women are the only reason that beer exists and men have literally zero capacity. I just, I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to gauge out of this. They saw the Bud Light marketing boycott and they were like, you know what? Let's destroy our company too. I guess. Like, are, are they trying to capitalize on the market of people who buy Bud Light and, and, and wince when they do it just because they can virtue signal? I don't know. If you ask me, it's just another load of garbage. Stop buying Bud Light. Stop buying Jack Daniels. Stop buying Miller Light. I mean, honestly, at this point, just drink Yingling or don't drink at all. Peace.